Yeah, there was a big ball of flames that come over top of the trees, and then right. went in that direction. But um, like, kind of directly over the house in that kind of a direction. Yeah, we're probably within, um, I, I would guess, about 1,700 feet from where the well's at, and. Then, you know, my my family's all in this like little block here. My brother's up there, and then I have another brother there, and another brother behind that. With my one brother wasn't home. My other brother, he actually was standing outside when it blew up, so he he seen a big ball of flames too. <laughs> he wasn't sure what was going on because all the deer were running away from there, and all the birds were flying in the opposite direction. Yeah, there was like a like a sooty type smell, you know. But um, yeah, it was it was uh, different. So he says the flames came all the way across the trees I, mean, here. I feel really bad for the, the one fellow, you know, that's, that's a shame. That's, mm -hmm. really said anything. Yeah, first they said there were definitely 20 guys on the, on the pad. Yeah. But then they changed that to saying that there were 19 on the pad. Oh, yeah, I, I hadn't really heard anything more about it. But, yeah. The crew working on laying the pipes, they say they don't know anything at all about what actually happened or how many guys were there. Here's the sign that's right at the base of the hill where the well is, Dana Mining. If you have any idea of how many guys were actually on the I do not have that information. But, yeah, it seems like nobody really does. Uh, are you with Chevron or with one of I actually look for a security team. I'm part of the security team. How much closer can we get to the location? Yeah. Um, I honestly don't know. I couldn't tell you. Oh, okay. Just keep going that, in that direction then? I believe so. I Honestly, I, I, I get called out with, uh, and give my instructions, but that's about it. Uh -huh. you know, I, I, I get told what I need to know. Uh -huh. And your instructions were to just sit here? I stage out where I'm needed, uh -huh. uh, and uh, that's that's what I do. I mean, I'm, I'm my apologies. I, I, you know, I, I'm handling a couple of the little things inside sure. the car. If there's any more information than that, I really, I really don't have any this time. Okay. That would be best directed to uh, Chevron's uh, PR manager. Uh huh. Uh, the public relations manager that's in charge of the situation, which I'm sure. Uh, okay. But, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I understand we can get a half a mile from the. You're not even out up this road today. Oh really? No, no. Unless you live on that other road going. Yeah. They're hauling a lot of stuff in today. We've had a lot of trucks. Oh. Uh. They don't have the fire out yet. There was there was three on that pad. Hey, I'm all over, but there was three on this side here. Uh huh. And do you know how many guys were actually there at the time it happened? I have no idea. Okay. I have no idea. I don't the, know. Where is the site? It's up on the hill up there. Oh, behind behind you. Yeah. They were here and they chased them out. You know, it's just an unfortunate thing. So, no press, and nobody seems to know anything. You're a roar, you a bad like the airplane going off, it sounds like it. Not that I know of. We're just on the other side of Bobtown now, where we were run out. No press is allowed anywhere near, the, unlike what they had said, that we could get a half a mile from the site that's not being allowed. Okay, so it looks like we have done almost a full circle around, but we hadn't come to this point yet, so I'll see if we can get some information from these gentlemen. I'm a reporter, and I'm just wondering how close I can get to the I site. I wanted to let people up there, so I'm kind of here to enforce what he has to do. Uh, this is probably the closest you're going to get. Is this a half a mile? It's only right up over the hill. Can't get any closer at all? No, because we got the road shut down up there. They got equipment everywhere. It's a mess. Any idea of how many people were actually on the... No, I don't. Well, the, two of the wells are burning now. I have no clue. They don't tell us none of that. All we are is traffic control. Uh, and you've seen a lot of vehicles come up here today? Not really. All we've had come up through or down through was our triaxes to they're bringing stone in. Supposedly building a new pad, I don't know, to put water in there for something. You probably just, you're better off talking to Chevron because they'll give you a better idea of what's going on than I will. How far would you say we are to the site right now? I really don't know. I mean, the farthest I've been is to the lease road. That's as far as I've been. Up over the hill. Probably 100. Uh, they, everything's shut down. They got trucks everywhere. They got 
trucks are walking around. I'm just traffic control, and we're not allowed to let nobody else up through here. This is strictly our outbound. I mean, you can go down around and come up the other side, and you might be able to get a little closer from there. But I'm one, one here, one, one up there by Bytown, one up there by Gerard Ford up there. No. I don't know how many people were supposed to be on that pad. Then none of the guys work around here, do they? Work, uh, work out of state. Uh huh. First, uh, first load, we 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 uh, we, we, we seen, seen the sky all, all lit up and our own thing right there. You know, whole whole thing was lit up. Over in Bob Town. Uh huh. His name, his name is Pritchard and I don't think he was up there when it first load up here. I'll, I'll, I'll show you where you lose that. I just spoke to the the fire chief here, Mr. Pritchard, and he says he He's isn't not. allowed to comment on what he saw when he arrived. He arrived just as the state police did. He's not allowed to say anything it, because it's up to the state police. They're doing the investigation. Nothing else can be known unless the state police say that it's okay for it. it seems like. But it surely is being withheld. And again, I'm not allowed to get it even up to the yellow crime scene tape. Reporters are not allowed any closer than maybe a mile from the actual site today, supposedly because there's so much going on up there. This is apparently piping that's going up to the site. That's there's a lot of coming and going heavy equipment up there. Today is Sunday, February 16th. TNB excavating. Thank you. We're just down here uh, bringing in some pipe, that's all. Where's the pipe going? Uh, just right down here is where we're staging it, that's all I know. Just I don't know, I was just given the order to come down here, that's all I know. Adam. I know nothing, ma'am. This just is the staging area. Be careful out there. Dryers, pumps, and compressors. That's what they use in fracking. Any information on what's going on up there? I don't. I'm not even allowed to say if I did. You blocked the reporters from going any closer today. Have you heard that? I, I have no idea. Honestly, I don't. And what company are you with? No comment. The reporter can't get anywhere near it, and, can't, and nobody says anything. It's a cover-up. Nobody has said what the suspected crime is, have they? they ask, why has everybody been told not to say anything? Mm. What's being covered up? Oh, yeah, I, I hadn't really heard anything more about it. Yeah. I do not have that information. Happened? I have no idea. Yeah, no, as far as any more information than that, I really I really don't have any this time. I'm just kind of here to enforce what he has to okay. do. No clue. They don't yeah. tell I don't, and I'm not even allowed to say if I did. I don't know. I was just given the order to come down here. That's I all. I have no idea. You seen? I have no clue, ma'am. Yeah. I know nothing, ma'am. I, I'm, they just brought me up here. And I, I have no idea. Honestly, I don't. What company are you with? No comment. 